Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today it's not Minecraft, it's Assassin's Creed Odyssey and uh, the Fate of Atlantis Episode 1 DLC just came out free so I got it and I wanted to make a walkthrough of Episode 1 so this week and next week uh, I'm, I'm gonna be doing Fate of Atlantis Episode 1 and uh, I don't know if I will upload on Monday because I got the hurricane on me, so I really don't know. But let's, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so we're in here. Wow, even with the lowest graphics on, still get frame drops. This is so sad. Alright, let's see. Go over here. No, this is not mods, okay? The, there's no mods to allow me to teleport. It's a game function. What I don't understand about this game is why they let you pick between a woman and a man. Like, just l like, just l let the game like choose for you or something, you know? Like, why would you have... like The Animus already would know, no matter what, and DNA is not... Like, DNA testing and stuff, it's not that hard I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say but I forgot how to play this game I've been playing such a long time alright let's see so let's see what do we have here so I can play this game 100% and just like I didn't um I didn't complete every single quest, but I mean, I have like one quest that I still need to do. But basically, um, the quests don't count towards main progression, as I figured out. Okay, this can kind of annoying. I think we should just teleport in there. So, let's just do that. So, the entire. Um, Episode 1 is about an hour long. Like, about 40 minutes. So, I'm gonna have to cut it into two 20 minute episodes, and with the time we just wasted, kind of adds up, you know? So, anyways, here we are Atlantis. Alright, let's see. What do you have in, in store for us, women? Bro, it looks like a PS2 character. Just, just, just kidding. Okay, guys. Looks like a PS3 character. My PC cannot handle this. Alright, let's see. What does Stranger Woman want? Alright, we're gonna be... My modern timing. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go to modern time to modern time so by that I mean like it's supposed to be 2018 but for some reason the game feels like it's like 2060 actually like accurately represented don't know what that means Bro, that man hasn't been, like, in the entire series since, like, uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue. Or, well, he was kind of in Origins, but he didn't really appear. For 
second I thought I heard thunder, but it was just the doors. Because you know, the hurricane. Alright. Alright, bruh. That's one long way down. Fortunately, we can jump. We didn't even get to go to Atlantis, we just go to Elysium, which is where like heroes go to the in like in the underworld. Basically like heaven. So let's see. She's gonna die, but it's not an episode one. I guess we'll go for yes. She wants to help us with the staff. It was always known to me that the air of memories would embark alongside the keeper next year. You went in the planet. Yeah, but if of course you can if she says this, Alexis is not the canon character, so we're in modern time. This is so confusing. This game just What were they thinking? You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff. What if she call Alexios Alexios like Cassandra's the main one. Alright, what's going on? As Alexius finds power to fuel both him and the staff, you too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first Sith tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Alexios. Right, Olivia? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you his way to the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with... her. Are you ready? Alright, let's go. As ready as I'll ever be. I don't really need to explore this place. Because I'm pretty sure we can't even do anything. Alright, we're back in the Animus. Yo, what? Wow, that was... It's kind of dumb. I don't know. I'm just... How did that work? The blood that is shared must also be offered, and the great seer will open for us. If you say so. Welcome, Keeper. You've entered the great throne room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutech I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. No, I don't. This but we'll ask place. him anyways. Did Pythagoras know it existed? No, I wouldn't show it to him. This room was built by the Isu to house something else. These thrones were once just thrones. Now they contain my simulations. Don't worry, I'll show you. You told me this room was meant for the air of memories, but I got in so easily. You pay for it in blood. Blood that looks quite like ours when you look closely enough. Mother always told me there was power in our blood. I guess she was right. There's more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, 
He used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. What? I'm alive. If I'm alive, how can I come back from the underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. Thanks for the tutorial. Both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. You're asking for blind trust, Alethea. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. Okay, let's go, boys. This is quite a pixelated place. No going back now. <laughs> what is what is wrong with this place? Why is it so pixelated? Alright. Oh wait, I have to interact with it. Could have at least been an animation, you know? But alright. Sure. I don't think it takes that much to just... Actually, I don't think there's an interaction animation in this game. Alright, let's fight some new guys. I'm also thinking of doing a Forsaken walkthrough. I mean, I already finished the Forsaken campaign, but I guess I can go with the Titan one. Have you played Destiny? I think you know what I mean. It's one big dog. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go. Yo, no cursing, bro. He swore. Okay, adrenaline effects enemy as the soldiers perform special attacks to freeze or doing the adrenaline. Alright. So it's Q. Okay. Okay, I guess I can just go with that. So why not? One hacking the OP move. Oh. Yo, chill, man. I didn't sign up for this. Bro, is, is fighting just really like hurting them? This is so dumb. Alright. Quite the nice frame drop, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm actually so bad. Come on, bro. Don't tell me I'm gonna die just right off the bat. Well, that almost killed me. This is like, actually tough, though. I wasn't gonna spend like six hours grinding just to get to level 57. Alright, let's see. these guys please just stop sir just die already
Wow, that took a while. And I guess the entire army is just gone? Okay. That's alright. Ubisoft presents. And they're all gone. I don't know what happened. And how did Icarus get here? Or Icarus. <laughs> Pronunciation matters. And of course, that's gonna be synchronization point. Synchronization. Uh, Alright, let's go. Don't need no ego flying around. No one stands up to Persephone's guards. Let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Ah, I'm Ernest. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper. But you can call me Alexius. What is this place? Keeper. A great name with a great journey ahead of it. This is the paradise of Elysium. Presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift. Yes, I already know this. Her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's coming to her role as queen with much applause. This is the resting place of heroes. When I was a boy, I dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. Yeah, but didn't he just say something about heroes, so... It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here... You'll find the means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of this, but the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find a god, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Devgalion's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise, but we all have our secrets. I'm thinking I'll go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Give her some time to cool down. When you introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. I could talk to Ricardi. You could, though she prefers to keep to herself. The dwellers of Phereas Review, which is to the east, might know of her whereabouts. I'd ask them. It's kind of dumb how heroes that die go to Elysium, but then she said she wasn't expecting a human, so... How many, how many different people wrote this thing? Like, I know in the last episode, uh, someone that works for EA wrote the last episode. Which is kind of dumb, because obviously he was just trying to get more money. It's EA. 
At least this game doesn't have surprise mechanics. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I invented just the thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of a beast. Go. Enjoy them. Wait, what? Level 16. Wait, so I was level 57 when I fought those guys. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, now I do. Okay. Let me just synchronize here and I'll end the episode. It's been like half an hour. I mean, that doesn't seem like it. Although, there will be editing, so the episode obviously is going to be shorter. So, let me just jump up here. So, apparently, I have. Let me get up here. So apparently I have the wings, like the boots that fly. What? How do you even use those? Do I have to like kill them or something? <laughs> no, I'll probably get them from like a chest or something. I don't really know. Alright, let's synchronize. So guys, if you're liking this walkthrough, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And see y'all in the next video because to make this episode really short, don't have a lot of time. So anyways guys, anyways guys see you in the next one.